Anita Gillette. Uh, that looks like a, a man. I, I guess it's a man. A fat man. And it, until, could it be Oliver Hardy? Sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, we got it, we got it. Robert Alda. That's a, that, that, that's a TV set, and that's a fat man, and that arrow just pointed to Florida, so it must be a fat man who does a show from Florida. How about Jackie Gleason? All right. Jackie now, Gleason. here's the star of Fast Draw, Johnny Gilbert. Hey, how about that? Boy, you guys are good. <laughs> Welcome to Fast Car. We are delighted to have all of you with us. And once again, we have some great subjects in store for you. But most importantly, we have two very fine team captains. Would you say hello to them? Anita Gillette and Robert Alda, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Look at him wishing me luck. He doesn't, luck, mean, luck, he doesn't mean a word of it. You're he's kidding. wishing me good luck and he doesn't mean a word. He's beaten me the last two days. He did? Yes. I didn't beat her, I just slaughtered her a little yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can turn around, watch it, you, you know, won't score. I guess it's the quality coming out, it's what it is. <laughs> Let's meet the people that are going to you be You know what throws it, Gar Gar yes. you see, Johnny, she, she, I saw her in the City Center production as, as Sarah Brown in Guys and Dolls, and I must say that she was marvelous in it. Yes. But she's with the original Sky, and that's throws <laughs> oh, that's it. The original Sky. The original Sky. Oh, boy. Well, now, before you two share any more love, let's meet the people who are going to be playing the game with you here today. Would you come in, please? This is Marilyn Rush and Carl Sanders. Welcome. I wish both of you good luck. You will be working on teams, as you know. Marilyn, you will be working with Anita. And, of course, Carl, you and Robert Alda will be having a go at it, and it will be the boys against the girls. We'll start out with you as our artist. Would you take your place behind the boards, please? The rule of our game, of course, is simple. The team with the highest score at the end of the game is our winning team, wins $100 and a chance at a color television set. First subject, we'll show to you at the same time I show it to the artist. If you'd like to play along by not knowing the answer, close your eyes until you hear the bell. Subject is a person. Marilyn, Carl, Take a look. No expression. <laughs> Ten seconds will be yours, Marilyn. If you're ready, draw. A person. Does it look like a person? Stop. I'm just yes, a Anita. wild guess because it's a boat and a person. Could it be Christopher Columbus? <laughs> no. Logical guess, but not the right one. You have just a little time left, Marilyn. Draw. Okay, the ten seconds are up. Carl, it comes to you. Draw. A person. Okay, ten seconds are up. It comes back to you, Marilyn. Draw. Stop. Oh, yes, could Anita. Be, could it be Noah and... Uh, yes! Yeah. 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 Anita! Oh, oh. I don't How did you it. ever get it, Anita? Oh, I... Well, you know, first I thought it was Robinson Crusoe and he just found a boat, but of course that couldn't be it. So then I saw those animals two by two. <laughs> those are animals? <laughs> you see, I thought it was tied to a buoy that's really a gangplank. Uh -huh. There you are. Yeah. Well, she read those clues beautifully, I'd say. 35 seconds on the clock. 35 points go to the girls' team, and they are now on the board. Let's see what happens with the next subject. And the next subject is a person. A person. Take a look. Marilyn, Carl. <laughs> Stop whistling, Carl. Uh, girls won last time, starting with you, Carl. 10 seconds. Draw. A person. Wow. Yeah. Okay, the ten <laughs> seconds are up, Carl. It comes to you, mm. Marilyn. Draw. Stop. Yes, Anita? Well, I see a hammer and sickle, which would indicate to Russia. Could it be Khrushchev? No, I'm mm. sorry, that's not. It's a good guess, but not the right one. Okay, you have some time left, Marilyn. Draw. Stop. And, and not, yes, Anita, not, you're in time. Uh, somebody else in Russia. Uh, 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 um, it could be Stalin. 
No, I'm afraid that's not the right answer either. The 10 seconds are up. Carl, it comes to you. Draw. Stop. Yes, Bob. It's like a, uh, a Russian satellite going around the Earth. Is what he would be going around. Uh, maybe the first astronaut, Gagurin, Yogi. Gagurin. You're right. It is. Yuri Gagarin. Very good. Good clues. Marilyn, Carl, both of you gave out very good clues to that, and you were getting closer to it, Anita. Yes, but Bob, as soon as this all was a world going or going around. Yeah, uh, Bob zeroed in on it for 36 points. As a matter of fact, yeah, we yeah. add that to the boys' <laughs> score, and the score is very close now. Oh, 36 to 35. Let's take a moment out right here and switch our players. <laughs> Meantime, watch this. Now let's see how Anita and Robert do over here. They've taken their place behind our drawing board, as you can see, and they are ready to go. Over here, Marilyn and Carl are standing by to take their chance at the guessing. Score one point apart. 35 for the girls, 36 for the boys. Here is the next subject. It is a place. Anita. Oh boy. Robert, think about this. I don't like that. <laughs> Starting with you, Anita. First 10 seconds, draw. Stop. Yes, Marilyn. I see something that I hope is going to be a kangaroo, and I'll say it's Australia. Can you hear it? Wow! How is she going to guess it on hope? I mean, what is it? I know a fantastic kangaroo. That's how she gets it. Now go over there and draw your breath, will you? You've been practicing a kangaroo drawing, that's what it is. <laughs> 54 Great. seconds on our clock. It was the beginnings of a very good kangaroo. 54 <laughs> points. You got no room for the, the pouch, girls. I tell you that, <laughs> 89 now for the girls' team. Next subject. Let's see how well you do on this one. It is an event. Anita, Robert, take a look. An event. Bob, we're starting with you. 10 seconds. Draw. Go. Stop. Yes, Carl. Valentine's Day. I You're right. <laughs> wow, it's going to be one of those games, huh? And she did, he didn't have to hope. It didn't start out to be a heart, man. That is a heart. <laughs> 57 seconds on our clock. 57 points go to the boys' team. They now have a score of 93 to the girls' 89. Next subject what a game. is a title. Anita. Robert. Ooh. Tight. <laughs> Starting with Anita. Okay. Ten seconds. Draw. Tight. Stop. Yes, Marilyn. Um, I, it's a song and it has a train in it. Uh, throw Mama from the train a kiss. No, that's not. That's she not, made it up. She just wrote it. She just wrote it. Not right. You have time left, Anita. Draw. <laughs> Ten seconds are up. No more guesses. Goes to the boys' uh, team. Robert, draw. Yeah. Stop. Yes, Carl. I, again, I see a song title and railroad tracks. I'll guess John Henry. Good guess, but not the right one. I'm sorry. Time left, though, Robert. Draw. <laughs> Ten seconds are up. It comes back to you, Anita. Draw. Stop. Yes, Marilyn? Oh. Title. Uh, well, a song, She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. I, 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 no, I not the right answer. You have a, stop. Yes, Marilyn. Oh, I a song, I, I, Working on the Railroad. I am You're right. right. Working on the Railroad. <laughs> Come back, Robert. <laughs> they I were. I know the next clue is going to draw what? an I. 
for eyes. Oh, oh well, I, mean, I don't think that would have... Actually, here. probably this was when you saw them working down here yeah. made the difference. Is that right? All were good guesses, but that was the right one. 32 seconds on the clock, 32 points to the girls' team. 121 to 93. You know, you know he, he made such a fast guess. I, I, I think that was one of the fastest guesses and, and you ever had on the show. I think so, when yes. We did I think Valentine. probably no was. No bonus, you don't get any bonus. Don't I get anything extra? No bonus, no. I knew what he was angling for. You didn't do that. Got another oh, subject, though. Uh, uh. Sky masters in type casting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Subject is a person. Take a look at it, Anita. Robert, a person. Starting with you this time, Bob. The ten seconds are yours. Draw. Stop. Yes, Carl. Well, I see a man with a big nose. I'll try Charles de Gaulle. Not the right answer. No. He's not walking on water. No. <laughs> a dime left, Robert. Time left, draw. Stop. Yes, Carl. Again, I'll, for the, for the reason of the big nose, I'll try Jimmy Durante. You'd be right. Jimmy Durante. Very good. That's the one. That is the one. Yes, almost, that the that is nose. the gold's nose. You know that? That really is. But this is more Durante's nose, more like a bulb. Yeah, well, it was more like the goal. It was good enough to pay off. 56 seconds on the clock, 56 points to the boys' team. They now have a score of 149 to the girls' 121. A close match. Here it is. We don't take a moment out here. All right, friends. Watch this message, if you will. We'll be right back. Listen, how would you like to come down and be part of our show? You can do that, you know, either in the audience as part of our guests or possibly even be interviewed as a future contestant here on Fast Draw. We would love to have you come down, and all you have to do is write for tickets to Fast Draw Tickets, WNEW-TV5, 205 East 67th Street, New York, New York, 10021. We'll get the tickets out to you. Who knows? You may be one of our contestants. Now let's go on with the show. As you can see, Anita and Robert have taken their places back in the original positions with a very tight game arena. going. Boys are ahead 149 to 121. Oh. Maryland. Hey, and a rooting team, too. Marilyn and Carl are back here ready to do the drawing, and I have the next <coughs> subject in hand. It is a title. Marilyn, Carl, take a look. Oh. Title. That is me. Starting with you, Marilyn. Ten seconds. Draw. Stop. It's a book. Yes, Anita. Uh, if they ask me, I could write a book. Mm, no. Good thought. Oh, well, that's good. Logical. Yes, you. not Nobody the right one. You. Time left, Marilyn. Draw. Okay, the ten seconds are up. No more guesses. Stop, Marilyn. Comes to you, Carl. Draw. Stop. Yes, Robert. Well, I see the uh, Star of David, and it's a book, and it could be uh, Exodus. Right. Forty-eight seconds on the clock, and you zeroed in on those clues perfectly for 48 points to be added to your score. You now have 197, and we have another subject standing by. Again, we'll show it to you. Subject, an event. Marilyn, Carol, think about it. Starting with you, Marilyn. Ten seconds are yours. Yes. You ready? Draw. What is this? An event. Event. An event. Oh. 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 Ten seconds are up. Stop, Marilyn. Stop, Marilyn. Comes to you, Carl. Draw. Wishbone. Stop. Yes, Bob. I gotta go with Marilyn for a second while we have a couple of seconds. Look, she looks like she threw a volleyball game. <laughs> No, is that your answer, of volleyball yeah, game? No, I'm now. sorry, that's not right. Time left, Carl. Draw. Okay, the ten seconds are up. It comes back to you, Marilyn. Draw. An event. Stop. It's a, yes, it's a Anita. Football game. That's not enough. It's not enough no, to say it's a football game. No, it's not. We must game. have a specific is it, answer. Is it some kind of bowl, like a rose bowl? Is that your answer, rose yes. bowl? No, I'm sorry, that is not right. I don't you know have some time left, Marilyn. Draw. An egg bowl game. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! Stop. Sh sh yes. Sh sugar. It's sugar. Yeah, right. Sugar bowl. Sugar bowl. <laughs> I know nothing about 
Sugar Bowl is not an event. You know, the Sugar Bowl game is an annual event. Yes, well, she sir. said Sugar Bowl. That, that's the place, she Sh said. She said Sugar Bowl game. Oh. <laughs> she didn't say Sugar Bowl game. Did, she, yes, she said did. Sugar Bowl. No. I don't want to start any trouble, Robert, John. I but... have to overrule you there, Robert. She did sugar say it. Game, 32 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> 32 it's seconds. Right. Yes, yeah, she was on the football game to the Sugar Bowl. 32 seconds on the clock. 32 points go to the girls' team. They now have a score of 153 to the boys, 197. Ah! Next subject. We still got more to go. A person. A person. <laughs> Starting with you, Carl. Ten seconds. Draw. Ten seconds are up. It comes to the girls. Marilyn, draw. Stop. Uh, yes, I, Anita. I, I don't know, but I just see the flower and a girl with long hair, and I think of flower children and peace people like Joan Baez. Joan Baez is uh, not the right uh, answer. Logical, but not right. Marilyn, draw. Okay, ten seconds are up. It comes back to the boys' team. Carl, draw. A person, Bob. Yeah, I know, it's a person. Uh... Ten seconds are up, no guesses yet. Back to Maryland, draw. Ten seconds are up and it goes back to the boys. They're studying the board, but no yeah. guesses. Carl, draw. Uh. Okay, the ten seconds are up. Stop, Carl. It comes back to you, Marilyn, for the last time. Oh. Draw. A person. Oh, it's terrible. I don't know what it is. Stop. Oh, she's yes, got Anita. clothes on. It can't be Lady Godiva. I no, Lady Godiva. She I just put clothes on her. It's not Lady Godiva. No. You have two seconds left, Marilyn. Right. What Draw. Is that thing there with the big... I will not keep you in suspense. There's somebody smoking bananas there or something. What is that? That big thing with the teeth that's a The big canoe. thing with the teeth? I think they were trying canoe. to show a missing tooth or something, which I'm not sure is part of the character. It was Daisy May that they were going for. That's the reason for the Daisy over there. And this was, I guess, the girl with the long hair. Right. Whether she had teeth missing or not, I'd have to think about it's that. Like, like yeah. oh, you were make, trying to make it like a hillbilly. Oh, I see. It was a good try. Well, we just lost the hillbilly element there, but... Uh, no uh, points left on our clock, no seconds, so nothing changes hands, and we move on to the next one. Again, a person. Subject, person. We're starting with Carl, Marilyn, Carl, both of you think about it. A person. A person. Ten seconds, Carl. Draw. Stop. Yes, Robert. Oh, he just threw me with that last thing he threw in there. I was going to go for the Queen. It looked like the Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Good guess, but not the right one. You have some time left, Carl. Draw. Okay, the ten seconds are up. It comes to you, Marilyn. Draw. A person. Stop. Yes, Anita, oh, you were in the, time. The Queen of Hearts. She Qu baked some tarts, all in and Summer's Queen day. of Hearts is your, is Queen of Hearts. She baked some tarts, yes. Afraid she that's not the apple. right answer. No, ten I'll seconds are up. Your pulse. Comes <laughs> back to you. That's a baker. Comes back to you, Carl. Draw. Stop. Is, is, yes, is, Robert. Could that be Miss America? <laughs> no, not the right answer. No, no. Time left, Carl. Right. Draw. Draw me something funny. <laughs> Still no guesses, no Holy 10 seconds Madeline. are up. It comes back to you, Marilyn. Draw. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. That signal tells us that the game is over. Did so I get no one. Yes, time? no, you didn't, honey. The horn had already uh, sounded. I'm sorry. Uh, I 
The answer was Mary, Queen of Scots. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Was that what you were going to say? I was going to say Antoinette because I thought that Antoinette. was a hatchet. Antoinette. No, that wouldn't have been right. right. The answer was Mary, Queen. I guess all of this was plaid along here, right? Scotch along the plaid. Scotch plaid was what she was trying to show you, and the Queen, of course, and we didn't have her beheaded, which well, may well, have helped. Well, I can't that's understand that thing. Oh, you were trying to have her beheaded there, this huh? This was the head. Oh, I, that's, that's the head down there. That of the United States. What was that supposed to be? Well, he's Pointing trying to show you that it was over to Scotland from the United States. Across the line. However, with a score of 197 to 153, the boys. Team is the winning team. That was close. That was close. But it didn't work out. As a result, our boys' teams are the winners. Carl, you have one hundred dollars now, and in a moment you'll have a chance to go at the color television set. Congratulations to you, Marilyn. We have. No money for you, but a very nice gift. Fred, tell her about it. All right, Johnny. A beautiful 17 jewel ladies wristwatch with matching bracelet from the Michael C. Fina Company. That's it, Johnny. Thank you, Fred. Marilyn, yours to have. Thank you for playing fast draw. We're going to take a moment out, then we'll have our winning team back here to try for the bonus color television set. In the meantime, would you watch this, please? Okay, it's bonus time, and you can help your partner win a color television set if you draw the right clues to this so that he gets it. Think about it, if you will, Bob. Okay, if you'll take your place back there, Carl, I'll explain what happens. This clock is set at 30 seconds. Yell out as many answers as you want. You don't have to hit the bell or explain it. Get the right answer before we run out of time, and you win the color set. I can't help you much with the subject because it's potluck. Could be anything. Okay, if you're ready, Bob, draw. 30 seconds. You gotta take the cap off. Just shout them out. Oh, that's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Rock of Gibraltar. No. Wrong. Just keep shouting them out. It's a hat. Haystacks, Calhoun. No. No. The Liberty Bell. The Liberty Bell is right. <laughs> Very good. With 10 seconds. Come on out here, Carl. Bob, come on over here. Uh, Congratulations to you. You shouted him out there. Bob, you did it. You did it for him. Very good. And that means the $100 in the color television set is yours. Congratulations on Fast Draw. How about that? Anita. Oh, Anita. Next time it'll happen. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching Fast Draw. Goodbye from Johnny Gilbert.